Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, you are going to learn about transformations. Well, the basic transformations. Now, there are three basic transformations you need to be aware of. The first one is translation. Second one is reflection. And the third one is rotation. Now, looking at the first one, translation, this is when a shape slides across an XY coordinate plane to another location. Now I know slide is not a, a great mathematical term, but it's the easiest way to describe the movement here. So we have this L shape here, and a translation would be to slide it somewhere. It can slide anywhere you want it to slide. It can go down there, anywhere. The one thing to uh, remember is that the L has stayed the same in all aspects. Um, it is congruent to the first one. All of the sides and angles are congruent. Um, and it is still in its original position, just a different location. The second transformation is reflection. And this is kind of like looking in a mirror. Again, not the most uh, perfect mathematical term, but easy to understand. So we have this L here, and let's say this green line here is a mirror. When the L looks into the mirror, what does it see? It sees itself in the other side, but it's flipped opposite. Okay, and so all of the sides and angles remain congruent, um, but it just flips opposite. Now, one of the other keys to note is that all of the points on the uh, two figures are the same distance to the reflection line. So if you notice, uh, they are exactly the same distance away from that mirror. And we call that equidistant. Another thing to note is that it doesn't matter where the reflection line is. You can reflect it across a, a line going up and down you can flip that L across a flat mirror or flat line. You can even do a diagonal uh, reflection as well. It doesn't matter as long as you know where the reflection line is. Now the third one is rotation. And rotation is very hard to visualize in your head. And it's very hard to describe how it's moving. And so we're just going to show you how it moves. We're going to do a 180 degree rotation around a point. All rotations go around a certain point. And here's what it looks like when it rotates 180 degrees. And so you can see it's a, on the other side, halfway down, but it looks upside down. But all of the corresponding sides and angles are equal or congruent, um, and so that is a rotation. Now, the uh, rotation can be all sorts of different measurements. It could do a 90 degree rotation, it could do a 270, it could do a 13.5 degree rotation. Uh, you just have to uh, uh, rotate it whatever way you want. Now, the last thing to remember before we wrap up is that all of these shapes including all of the sides and angles, remain congruent or the same after you have done the transformation. So we talked about translation, and that's when we slide a figure across an XY coordinate plane. The next is reflection, and you have to have a reflection line or a mirror, and that flips, flip flops across that uh, reflection line. And again, everything is equal as far as uh, sides and angles. And the last one is rotation. And this is where we have a point that this figure is going to rotate around. And I'm going to do a 360 degree rotation around that point. And there we did it. Came back upon itself. Okay. Well, I hope that helped. You learned a little bit about the basics of transformations. If you need any more help on this, feel free to uh, re-watch the video and pause it. 
to really grasp the concept. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.